Today we are in Chandigarh, India, and I'm going to be taking you on a tour of Indian chats, a type of snack food that is found all over India. Stay tuned for the entire episode so you don't miss me trying Golgappa or Pani Puri for the very first time. It is time to chat about shots. And don't mind if I get a bit shoddy. So I'm here with my friend Namrata and we are going to be exploring the world of Indian shots. So what is a shot exactly? Shots are different kind of snacks. Be it sweet, salty, sour, spicy. And they use different kinds of sauces and spices in that. Different kinds of spicy waters. You'll find chat stalls that open in the evening and that's when people go out and hog on to it. So you're a local college student here in Chandigarh, so you've got to know where are the best places for cheap munchies. Of Am course. I right about that? Of course. All right. It's time for a shot party. Let's go. Let's head to our first location and try two signature Indian shots, papri chaat and dahi bala. Right now I'm here at Gopal Sweets. This is a legendary confectionery in Chandigarh, but I've come for some famous chaats and snacks. So which chaats should I try? I think papri chaat is better. Papri chaat? Yes. Okay, any others I should try? Dahi bale. Dahi bale? Okay, I don't know what these are, honestly. They sound totally foreign to my American brain. I've never really tried any shots, so I'm hoping to learn what these are, what they're made of, and how they're prepared. Can we check that out? All right. Coming to the shots and snacks corner over here. You can capture how to make a papri chaat. I've been invited back into the kitchen to see how these shots are made. So these are the papri, these little yeah, like this, fried breads. This thing is a papri. Papri. And this is the material of taste, and this is a masala like a spices. masala spice. Spices, yes. This oh, and then this is some yogurt. Yes. That's sweet, sweet chutney. Some sweet Basically, tomato chutney. Basically, main taste is these two things. These two chutneys. Yes. Wow. And so this is a green chili chutney or pudina no, no, chutney. No, 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 no. Pudina chutney. Pudina chutney. Yes. Putting some. Uh, some bujia yes. and beetroots. Oh, that looks amazing. Beetroot and pomegranate and then some coriander. And so more yogurt on the top. This is flavored chocolate. What's inside? Sugar, sugar, fruit, pomegranate. And so again with the green and the red chutney. Wow. That actually enhances the flavor of Oh, that looks delicious. So more sev on top. Or these are uh, chana? Bundi. Bundi, okay, okay. Beetroot on top and some fresh coriander. So here we've got two beautiful shots to dig into. These are my first shots ever in India. They're just covered in all kinds of different flavors and colors, like a flavor explosion. So there's so much going on here. What kind of flavor should I expect from this? about it because you have to expect different flavors in a bite. You might have a hint of yogurt in the first one and then in the next second you might have a bit of spicy taste. So all kinds of different textures and flavors all in one single bite. You could call it a flavor explosion. You can say that. <laughs> all right, let's dig into this. Let's get that soaked in chutney and yogurt. Let's get some fruit in the same bite. Cheers to this shot. Nice. Wow, you were totally right about that. I got sweet fruit, crunchy pomegranate, super spicy chutney. And the yogurt. And then the yogurt, the acidity and the sourness of the yogurt. There's like at least like four or five different flavors all at once. The bread in the middle is super soft. So you have that soft texture of bread, which just melts in your mouth with like all kinds of flavor going on around it and soaking into the bread. So what is this bread actually made of? It's uh, made of moong dal. Moong dal? Yeah. They would create a mixture. Basically, they would grind it. That is and incredible. And they would fry it. And then they would soak it. 
Yeah, yeah, it's super soft. soft. It's yeah, it's like mushy soft and soft. As as I thought it was a bread like made of wheat or, or all-purpose flour. But that is a lentil bread, so that makes it actually pretty healthy. There is a party going on in my mouth right now with all kinds of textures, flavors. Oh, it's just amazing. So this is the papri chat. Now, this one has got a similar concoction of chutneys, yogurts, and flavors, but there's one main difference in this chat, and that is these cracker-like papris. Instead of bales, which are made of lentil flour, we've got these papris, which are crackers made from all-purpose flour. So this is the papri, and so it's a more crunchy texture, but it still soaks up all these sauces and chutneys. So once again, we've got an amazing assortment of toppings. We've got these little crunchy sev. We've got beetroot right here, sliced beetroot, pomegranate chunks, coriander. There's all kinds of stuff going on in one bite. So let's try this cracker. Ooh. It's super crunchy. The outside of the cracker though, still gets nicely soaked in a bunch of different flavors. Some of these chutneys are super spicy, and then the, the yogurt just comes in in the same bite and cools down everything in your mouth. Up next, the most famous of all Indian snack foods. So we've come for another classic shot, Golgapa or Pani Puri. Now, if I understand correctly, this is actually one of the most popular shots in all of India, right? Yes. So it has numerous synonyms for it, be it Golgappas, Pani Puri, Puchkas, Pulki, but whatever you call it, Indians across the country just love it. It's the most popular street food. Yes. So what is it exactly? It's basically as if you're taking a shot. Like a shot of spicy yeah, it, water. You also fill it with chickpeas or potatoes. So how do I drink a potato or a chickpea? They mash the potatoes up and you have to eat it. You, you'll find it sweet, you'll find salt. Nice. And really spicy, you'll find minty as well. So which one are we going to be going for right now? The spiciest. We're going to be going for the spiciest Golgapa right now. Loves it here. Everyone loves the spiciest. Yes. So it's just like pure chili, yes. chili yes. water. Exactly. <laughs> a shot with of a chili of water mint. with a hint of mint. This is going to be my first time trying Golgapa. Can you believe it? I don't think you're ready for it. Oh, I hope I'm ready for this one. So we're about to get filled up with our first shot. Pele bar Golgapa. Oh yeah, okay, so this is the spicy one. So are we supposed to do it all in one bite? Yeah. All in one bite. Yeah, like... I've started to shove Golgapas down my mouth, but watch out because they pack a serious punch. Mmm. Oh my god. It just exploded in my mouth. Like so much liquid at once. Oh my god. Oh, another one. Another shot. <laughs> it's like just knocking back shots at the bar, at the Golgapa bar. I continue to knock back Golgapas one after the other. Down the hatch. Mm. I'm choking on the spice. Oh my god. I don't know if I can take another. Oh. Banana? <laughs> this is crazy. I've never had a food experience like this. It's just nuts. Oh. I asked him to give you a bit without the water. Without the water? Yeah. All right, well, I can put a bit of the water in. Get soaked in that juice. And up last, yet another favorite of Indian taste buds, the samosa. So here we've got the classic Indian samosa. Potato filling again. Mashed Potato potatoes. filling, yeah. aloo samosa. Yeah. Again, with spices, cumin seeds. You're talking my language. Exactly. And deep fried. Uh, they, they make a triangle basically, and then they deep fry it, and they call it samosa. So it's like a, yeah. a filled potato dumpling fried in oil. Yeah, you could. All right. It and it's served up with two chutneys, some green chutney here, and some red chutney. Let's drip that green chutney all over this samosa. Look at that. Now that this samosa is covered in different chutneys, let's take a bite of this thing. Ooh. 
That has got a nice yellow potato mixture up in there. Seems like we've got some turmeric, some different spices. Oh, look at those coriander seeds mixing in with a potato mixture. That looks delicious. Those roasted coriander seeds. What a delicious snack and only for 10 rupees. What a deal. There's some matar in there. It's a green pea mixed in with the potatoes and seeds. Crispy fried shell holding this awesome potato mixture. I'm all about it. Now this snack is much more simple. It's less of a fusion of all kinds of flavors and it's more like just a classic fried potato dumpling. I hope you enjoyed this tour of Indian shots and snacks. Subscribe to Source and Flow, hit the notification button, and stay tuned for more epic street food content from around the globe.